everybody, it's Claire. Um, today you can see I've got open in front of me um, a wonderful page from Joanna Basford's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. It's from my own colouring book that you will have seen me do many, many pages from if you've watched any others of my tutorials. Today we're looking at this beautiful um, star page and if I just flick the page into the light you can see, I think, that it's made up mostly where the stars and the details and the design are of glitter glue and a lot of you have seen this page and asked me um, what I used and and how to use them so I've already done a tutorial on this background um, but what today's tutorial is for is just to really kind of show you the glitter glue um, that I used and there are variations of it as well so I've got some kit out in front of me and I'll take you through, I'll just take you through the basics. So let me just move my book out of the way and you can see underneath I've got my practice book, it's the tutorial book I've got underneath and you can see it is because it's the tutorial that I did the background with. And then let me show you the kit that I've got ready. So these are the, they're called stickles. Um, Colour Colour with Claire, Claire Eady has done some wonderful swatches of these if you want to have a look at her tutorials. This tutorial is really to show you how to use them. Quite a few of you have seen that page and said, oh, how do I use them? It's really, really straightforward um, and I can give you a few tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. Now, they used to come in about um, 80 colours, 80 or 90 colours. I think they are now available in something like 40 to 50 because some of them have been discontinued. I've picked out three of my favourite here. So these are, you can see that they're stickles. They're by a company called Ranger, who I believe are based in the United States. And they have a screw-off cap and basically you can see that they have very, very um, fine tip. If I just zoom that into the camera for you a little bit. They have very, very fine tip um, squeezy nozzles, which makes it very, very easy for you to place the glue on the paper. Okay. So I've got three of my favourite colours out here. I've got fruit punch, I've got sunflower, and I've also got um, a one called confetti. Okay, so I've also got um, two cotton buds, two cotton bud sticks. Um, this is because if you kind of go over the lines a little bit they are really good at picking up the extra glitter off the page. And I've also got a very very basic um, drawing pin, a tack. So what you'll find is if you use these and then you come back to use them again sometimes the little nozzle can um, can just glue up a little bit and anything a pin, a needle or, or like the drawing tack that I've got here will just go in the top and you can just push it down. And that should unblock any blockages that you have. Now, usually, if I'm using these on my book, um, I will do them last. I'll do them the, the, the last thing of the day that I do, because I've found that the way that I use them, they take oh, they take a good few hours to dry because I, I put quite a thick coverage on. So I usually do them last thing before I leave my book, and then just completely leave them overnight. So at least eight to ten hours. Um, but as I say, that's because I put I like a really thick um, layer. Now, one other tip that I'm going to give you before I actually show you how to use them is I'm just going to go back to my old book, to my original book, sorry, and I'm just going to show you the page behind. So you can see this is the back of the page with the with the stickles on it. Now, I actually made sure that I did this page first because. It does warp the page very slightly, but nothing that this book is so precious to me. So believe me, if I was going to put stuff on that would warp the page, I wouldn't be happy with it if it was a, a major problem. It's it's very, very little. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. So I made sure that this page was done first um, just because it's easier. Because these, these kind of dry almost flat, but they're, but they're nearly 3D. So it's just easier if you do this side first and then you're not kind of painting over any of the bumps and lumps. But as I say, the warping is very minimal. So that's the, that's what I would advise. If, you, if, you, if you're using these, do your, your um, reverse page first. So let's get back to this. So I'm just going to take confetti, okay? I'm going to take the top off. And let's see, let's have a look at this star here. Can you see the star? Yes, you can. 
So all I'm going to do, and it's really, really simple, is just gently squeeze. And because this nozzle, I've actually used this colour before, so just let me clean this top. And because the nozzle is so fine, it lets you place them really easily. So I'm just going to fill in this star. So just squeeze, just squeeze the bottle and then let the nozzle kind of push the glitter into place. And you can see that that's a really nice mix of, um, it's kind of like a, a black base glitter, but then it's got highlights of gold, green, red and blue I can see in there. So some of these colours are really, really pretty. And like I say, you just follow the shape. Follow the shape. And then what I'm going to do is, for the very points of these stars, I've got my um, my wooden Q-tip. And the reason I've got one of these is because it's got this end rather than a double-ended one. So I can just push it back very slightly. If you've gone over the lines a little bit, it'll just push that wet glitter into the shape of the star and that's it that's basically how I've used them now that at present is sticking up from the page I would say roughly about one millimeter which will be difficult for you to see on the on the video um, but like I say I would leave that for at least eight hours to dry overnight and clearly you would leave it with your book open because otherwise if you close your pages you're gonna glue your pages together so let me just repeat that. I'm going to show you one in the lovely sunflower colour that I've got. We'll do the star next to it. Again, I'm just gently squeezing. I don't want a lot of pressure because I'm trying desperately to follow the pattern. And I didn't know what to do with this page. But these work really well to give it a bit of pizzazz. It looks like a pizzazz page to me. There we go. Easy and it is a lot of fun. You can see it's a lot of fun. One more, one more with the fruit punch. Do this one here. Oh, see that? See, I even I squeezed that quite gently and even so it came out in a bit of a rush. So I'm just going to be extra careful with this one because you don't need much pressure on the bottle at all. And you can see that the thin nozzle lets you place, place it really nicely. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm quickly gonna go to my Q-tip and just push it into shape a tiny bit. You can wipe this on a cloth, I'm just wiping it on my hand. You should see me when I'd done the front page before I looked like I was covered, well I was covered in glitter, didn't look like I was covered in glitter, I was covered in glitter. There we go, and if you've got kids this is a, a really good exercise in, in one of the pages in your book because the kids will clearly love it. Okay, now there's some variations on these stickles, so let me show you what else I've got out. These are also by Ranger. This is um, a slightly bigger bottle, it's called Ice Stickles. Now I've only got one of these, um, but what I think the major difference is, is I think they've got more um, silver base uh, glitter in the colours. Um, so it kind of, um, it's an even more intense kind of glittery, glittery effect. Now it's a bigger bottle, but you can see that the nozzle is still really fine. So let's pick a star, any star. Again, I'm squeezing quite gently and it works in exactly the same way. And this one's a little bit more transparent than the others. See my nozzle's just got a little air bubble in it there. I'm just gonna use my drawing pin. Like that. There we go, back in business. There we go, that's quite a pretty colour actually. Just going to put that into shape a tiny bit there. And if you spread it about a bit, use the other end. If you inadvertently, like I have, spread it about a bit there, use the Q-tip end and it just 
pulls it off the paper. Can you see it on there? And it'll just keep things nice and neat. Now the other variation that I've got out to show you is again uh, Ranger. These are called Liquid Pearls. These dry slightly um, more quickly, I would say in um, an, an hour, an hour and a half. And they work in the same way, so they're, they're nozzle based um, crafting supplies. But they, as they say on the, on the front, they come out as liquid pearls. So it literally looks like a pearl on the page. So the two colours I've got here, I've got, um, oh, I should have told you what colour that um, ice stickles was. Sorry, that was coffee ice, that colour in, um, in the ice stickles. So the two liquid pearls I've got out are the green is Alpine and the gold is Jingle Bells. I've just been sourcing these on Amazon and eBay and they're quite cheap. Um, I think in the UK these are roughly about £2 a bottle. I think the ice stickles is about three or four pounds a bottle and again these liquid pearls are kind of th about three pounds a bottle so they're they're um they're mostly used for crafting clearly um but they do work really well in the books now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to dob some um pearls basically pearls on the page now there's a knack to doing this because what you'll find is just let me just let me show you so i'm holding it above the page because i want it to make a nice round pearl but when you pull it away you kind of get like a little lump and I don't want that lump on there I want it to be nice and round so I'm just gently gently flattening that little bump out with the nozzle like that let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more for you because that's quite tiny okay let me see where we need to be yes we'll try one there so can you see if you just press it it'll make a lovely pearl shape and again these are 3D and they will dry 3D but they will dry um, less significant from the page than, um, than they appear when you first put them on okay So we'll just do that again with the Jingle Bells colour. Nice and gently hold it above the page. The nozzle isn't touching the page. Oh, and I've got a little air bubble in that. So again, she says, having just lost her drawing pin, it's down here. New camps, me jingle bells is jammed. Um, there we go. So again, I'm holding the nozzle above the paper. Now that one isn't very good because it's got a big blob on the top. I'm just going to flatten it out a tiny bit. And that'll sink. That little bit in the middle will sink. So you can see these are a little bit trickier to use, but if I make a slightly bigger one, and you can see that the nozzle's shaking a little bit because I'm pressing a little bit harder to get this on the page, but they do make wonderful pearl effects. And again, I'm just gonna flatten that off a little bit with the end of the Q-tip. Okay, so basically that's it. They are very, 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 very simple to use. Um, like I say, I would do this at the end of the day's colouring and then I would just leave it book open to dry for, um, if you're using the stickles, overnight if you're using the pearls, I would say probably an hour to two hours. Okay guys, any questions as normal, just give me a shout and I hope you have a play around with these, they're so much fun. Bye for now.